tone of voice. Very important, you know, the way you talk to your dog and the tone of voice you use. And when I, people hear the tone of voice and I ask people, you know, what do you think that means? Generally, I get two responses. That there is a happy, you know, tone of voice. The tone of voice that you use when your dog does something good. Oh, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Your little, your baby voice, if you want to call it. Okay? There's a happy one and there is, you know, your bad dog. The bad dog tone of voice. Okay? Now, the happy voice is a good one. We want to use that. Whenever our dog does something that, you know, we want to reinforce that we like, we want to get them excited. We want to give them attention. All right? We want them to know that, hey, yeah, we like what you just did. Good, good boy, good, 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 good. All right? We get them happy. We get their tails wagging. However, when they do something bad, human instinct is to tell them, no, you did something bad, bad talk, with our angry voice. All right? Well, here's the thing. It's not so much about the tone of voice as it is what you're saying. Because even using your happy tone of voice, yeah, your tone of voice, what happens is the dog over time gets conditioned that when you use your happy voice, good things happen. But just naturally, they don't understand that a good voice, a high-pitched voice, means anything. The, the reason that they end up responding to that is because over time, without realizing it, you actually just condition your dog to know that that tone means something good. A bad voice, or your deep voice, okay, it doesn't work quite the same way because when you use your mean tone, your bad dog voice, you're, you're conditioning them, but you're still giving them attention. Nothing severely bad ever happens when you use the bad voice. When you use the bad voice, unless you're using the bad voice and then it's followed by a severe punishment, something that, you know, is really bad, physically hitting the dog, a shock collar, they're not going to have a negative association as to why you're using the bad tone of voice. What often ends up happening with the bad tone of voice is you just get an appeasement behavior. You come home angry, would you do that bad dog? The dog goes, I don't know what you want, I'm sorry, don't hurt me. They cower, the tail goes down, their ears go back, and the dog, it's an appeasement behavior. The dog, dogs don't know guilt, dogs don't understand why you're mad, they just know something has you upset, and they don't want to do anything further to hurt you, or upset you more, okay? So, if you use a bad, you know, if you have two tones of voice, don't even focus on using the negative bad tone anymore. Because, unless you're following it up with a, a punishment, and you're, you know, uh, very, um, just rigorous with it, and you're very consistent with it, using a negative tone really isn't going to do anything except make your dog fearful uh, or reinforce the bad behavior even more, okay? Happy tone is fine. When your dog does something good, good, give them attention, okay? So keep this in mind. The two tones of voice, if you find yourself using the bad tone of voice, you're better off not to even acknowledge the behavior in the first place. If you just ignore the behavior when they do something bad, um, provided you can, it's a behavior you can ignore, you're going to find it goes away a lot faster than trying to correct them and tell them no bad dog, okay? Now, that's the first part. Here is the second part with tone of voice, okay? And let's just call this, you know, the level of your voice. I had a gentleman that I met uh, a couple of weeks ago. We were, I was walking my dog and he was walking across the street. Uh, he, I was doing training. I had my shirt on so he knew that I was a dog trainer and he yelled at me, hey, look what my dogs can do. And I, you know, I said, sure, let's see. And he had two German Shepherds and he was got one on each side and he's just yelling at them, sit down, stay, heel. You know, even louder than that. And I'm just looking at him and he was pretty cool, huh? And I go, I, I guess. Guys, dog ears are very, very good. We, there's no need to yell at your dog to get them to listen to you. In fact, raising your voice, getting excited, they're going to be less likely to listen to you because now you're just getting them more worked up, not necessarily listening for the words. When I'm talking to you know, my dog and I want him to do something, the same tone of voice that I'm using now is the same tone of voice I use with him when I want him to do something. Max, sit. Down. Stay. There's no reason to get angry, to 
get upset, to get excited, because they're not going to differentiate that. And in fact, it makes it even harder for them to learn the words because when you're constantly changing the tone, the word sounds different to them. Me saying, Max, sit, 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 and doing it consistently, he's going to pick up on that sound, sit, means put my butt on the ground. If one day I'm saying, Max, sit, the next day I'm saying, Max, sit, the next day I'm saying, sit, 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 it all sounds different. So keep, try to, your best to keep the level of your voice, okay? Always consistent. Always try to stay calm. I know it can be very difficult, especially when you know you're dealing with uh, behavior problems. But try your best to stay calm because again, dog ears are very good. They, if you ask them to do something and they don't do it, odds are it's not because they didn't hear you. It's just because they haven't had enough training with that one specific command or behavior you asked for. Okay, so that's tone of voice. Keep these things in mind. Always try to stay calm with your voice. Um, you, yeah, you can use the happy voice as a reinforcer. At the end of the day, though, it's not so much that it's the tone of your voice that's you know doing it. It's more so that you're just giving them reinforcement by giving them attention, um, which is why we want to avoid using the negative tone because even when we do use the negative tone, number one, we just put our dogs into a state of fear, which is why we get those appeasement behaviors. And again, we end up actually depending on when we you know talk to them we just reinforce those bad behaviors, okay? So that's tone of voice. Consistency is a key element to training your dog. And it's something that's very important to keep in mind at all times because if you're not consistent, you're really never gonna get